one of the important things that we've done uh, this year is in kind of incorporate B Corp into our performance appraisals for all of our staff. Yeah. So we already had a really fantastic volunteer program, three paid days a year volunteering and something like 79, I think, of our staff are already doing volunteer roles, Amazing. which is incredible. Yeah. Um, and, you know, being in the Southwest mainly, that's so important because we've got such a huge not-for-profit and charity sector. Um, but actually trying to encourage that innovative thinking about what that means, not only to them in terms of their interactions with the firm, but also for their clients. So we're looking at how we use that then to think about how we might change the services that we offer or the way that we do our business to support the businesses yeah. that we work with and the individuals that we serve. So um, it's become much more about what we do and how we do it. Um, and we also set up some B champions, which are our kind of really energetic, engaged, enthusiastic people within the organisation, which act as ambassadors within our teams to get ideas and um you know, innovative new ways of working going and really yeah. get the buy-in across the organisation. Um, it creates its own buzz, doesn't it? Does, it? It's it does. really encouraging. Yeah. Um, so I, I suppose that the, the sort of final questions is, um, once you're through verification, what have you noticed change? I mean, obviously you're talking about internal mm. changes and buy-in there. Yeah. How's, how, how's it affected your conversations externally? I think it's it's had a huge impact people are really interested people want to know about what it means what it's meant to us why we've done it how we've done it um also how it's going to influence us as a firm and the way that we're doing business moving forward yeah um i've had uh, recruiting my to my team it's great we're growing um and my colleague and i were so impressed we had 10 applications from junior lawyers coming in each of them said they wanted to work for us because we were a b core and yeah. you know that that's hugely impactful in terms of the way that we, you know, not only look to recruit, but also retain. That's yeah. so, that's so important in the current market. Um, but I, it just in terms of the conversations we're having with businesses, we're talking much more about well, what's your climate resilience. Now, are you thinking about, you know, ethical HR? How about incorporating some climate change clauses into your contracts? How about you know, supply chain sustainability? So, I think being a leader in that space, leading within a community, um, talking about mm. some of these issues, even if people are not interested in Beak or, and, or they're just curious yeah. about it or sceptical even, yeah. um, that, that promotes huge amount of discussion. Um, and we've had some fantastic feedback from clients. We have lots of clients who are already Beak or, which yeah. is great. Um, and we're seeing lots of investment, you know, opportunities, successes in that space. Um, so, yeah, I think it's been, as you said, it opens doors yeah. um, and importantly, I think it opens people's minds to what they could do or what they might like to do. Yeah. Um, how about with Groundshore? What, what have you seen since you? Well, it's a very some... short time, but what I have noticed is the kind of conversations that there are and um, the fact that you sometimes get unexpected people together in the same room collaborating mm -hmm. and having totally different conversation and opportunities coming out of that um and i think that's just hugely exciting just because as you say there's that power of amplification isn't it yeah. and just looking at things from a different perspective um and those be we talked about yes. be locals as well yes so that's i was at my first one of those um last week uh, they've just started one down in sussex and just the enthusiasm there was great i mean it's the first one and I know there will be more and it, I suspect what will happen is there will be kind of topics that are brought up so that we're actually talking about particular things. But just, yeah, it, it, it feels as though there's a real change there and an opportunity to make things improve and take, it, take, take power into ourselves so that we can deliver yeah. well. There's a definite energy to want to share and collaborate. We've mm. been involved in the Be Locals in, in Devon and in Cornwall and Jennifer Short Martin, one of our um, brightest uh, new newly qualified sisters, has just become the, the uh, co-chair of our B Local here oh, in that's Cornwall. Amazing. So that's fantastic. Um, and it is about sharing ideas. It's about getting together. It's about that sense of purpose. Yeah. Um, and there's a kind of understanding, mutual understanding that you know it's tough and we're mm. not perfect, but we're all trying to do small incremental steps yes. to make you know the economy more. Uh, equal, more regenerative, 
um, are more sustainable and and trying to share what other, you know elsewhere is happening. You know, the likes of Tony Chocolonely looking at embedding um, mission. You know, more than just becoming a B Corps and having yeah. you know nature on the board of directors. And we're just oh. kind of debating all uh-huh. these kind of new these are new not ways thoughts of that working. we would have had re- uh, you know until no, really recently. No, but how exciting yeah. that we can do that on a local level and actually deliver some yeah. change and, yeah. and and have those kind of more interesting business debates um i know that in cornwall we've certainly seen lots of business saying come and see us see what we're doing and that's yeah. been fantastic yeah well i think thank you very much for sharing your experiences i mean i i find this area really exciting because there's a lot of change and it's it's a new way of looking at things isn't it yes uh, and if you're interested in finding out more about Corp, um i would absolutely direct you towards the uh, B assessment, uh, BIA impact assessment to go and take a look at it. And if you'd like to talk to us further, uh, please contact us uh, at the at, at Groundshore. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm.